good day. So today's topic is anthologies. And so if you're not familiar with an anthology, it is a collection of works by various authors. It can be prose, it can be fiction, it can be nonfiction, poetry. There are many ways to collaborate on projects. That is how I got my start in publishing. Author, best-selling and famed author Vanessa Miller composed a anthology that had authors in three different books. I joined the second book. This is Love, Hope, Faith 2. And also I have a story in the third book. It was a phenomenal way for me to whet my appetite into the publishing arena. And once I entered in 2015, I have not been able to turn back. So fast forward to over 200 books at this point. There are three anthologies on the shelf of Hadassah's Crown Publishing. So I'd like to tell you briefly about each one to get you thinking about possible projects that you can undertake. This one was completed during COVID, I believe 2019 or 2020. It is entitled Mothers and Sons, or Oh How We Love Our Sons, an anthology to lift and inspire our sons and yours. And this was the brainchild of Reverend Angela Wright, who has a nonprofit, Building Beyond the Walls. And this was a project to benefit that nonprofit. So mothers told about their love stories with their sons in order to encourage and inspire sons and mothers, but also just people in general, because that was a very dark time and we just wanted to put some love in the air and just talk about our experiences and what mother doesn't enjoy talking about her son. Well, after that, I was approached to do a mother's and daughter's anthology. And this was the brainchild of Jacqueline Pitt. And she invited several mothers to talk about their stories with their daughters. And some of these are just heart-wrenching stories, but others are just very happy. Um, many of them have happy endings. You learn so much from working with other authors and publishing their stories. And so that was a very successful book that launched a couple years ago on Mother's Day weekend. They always have a brunch in Columbia to celebrate the release of their anthologies. And then this past year, or just recently, I was approached by Nancy E. Johnson to help put together her widows anthology. And so what you'll find in here are 10 widows who candidly share their story of the struggle of dealing with their husband's illnesses or sudden death because there was one who was killed in a car accident and the wife actually saw it on the news but didn't know that that was her husband who had just gotten killed. So anyway, their hope within, this, within these pages is to help some other widow, someone who maybe just had a husband to pass, who just needs some hope and some encouragement. So what is it that they would say to these widows? How would they help them get through? So I do recommend all of these. All of these can be found on Amazon. This was entitled, When Two Become One Again. Now, I want you to start thinking, what if you could do an anthology? I want you to think about some different issues that you might be able to gather up a group and come up with a anthology. Think about workplace issues and advice that you might be able to give to younger people or just people in general about workplace issues. What about relationships or new experiences that perhaps you've had? Parenting is a great one. Maybe you've been through tests and trials, which is basically what the Love, Hope, and Faith um, anthologies were all about. You could think about travel, dating, breakups, love stories, cooking would be a great one. Those are just a few of the topics that I came up with. I've heard of other people who maybe there's a team of guys who really enjoy playing rugby or lacrosse and they want to share their stories. I've heard some guys talk about wanting to talk about their roommates in college and just all the fun that they had. There could be fraternity or sorority stories. There could also be things that you have in common. For example, what's it like growing up being an only child? What's it like being the youngest of three? What's it like 
having all sisters, no brothers. So just so many different topics. And it always takes the burden off one author when you can share that space with other writers. And you could get together virtually or in person to write your stories, reading your stories, giving feedback to each other. If you want more information about how you can set up an anthology, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I have a contract or an agreement that the writers can come together to um, consider. You can also come together and think about how you want to release your book, a joint book signing. If you're miles and miles and miles away, that could be a, a virtual launch. But there are so many different possibilities of putting together collective stories. And these are not just for adults. Children can do this. Young adults can do this. This can be a writing project for any group. So if you want more information, don't hesitate to contact me. I am Dr. Sonia Cunningham Leverett with Hadassah's Crown Publishing. My email and website will be in the link below in the description. Thank you for following us. And until next time, make it a wonderful day.